Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to another tutorial, and this tutorial is all about hair. Pretty much. That's what it's about. We're gonna do a couple different tutorials. I'm in a little of a creative mood today, so we're gonna not do one, but two for sure projects, possibly three. Actually, I think we will do three. Oh, oh, yeah, we are gonna do three. Jeez, Louise, y'all buckle up. Get yourself something uh, good to drink, uh, cozy in for a little while, and um, yeah, we're gonna, I'll explain this in a second. But we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get going, okay? All right, Scully, Scully's ready. All right, let's jump into it. Now I know you can't see this, but my work table is a disaster. There's a lot going on. So let's break it down, shall we? What we're gonna be doing today and the materials needed. Um, this is really going to be just dependent on the look that you're going for and how over the top and things like that. So let's first, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it down by project by project instead of showing all of the materials at once because it could become overwhelming. So the first thing, we're gonna work on a floral crown that is secured via a headband instead of some of the other ways that we've done this. Now the one thing I wanna note about this that I will not be using, but these are other optional supplies that may come in handy depending on how like extra extra or a little bit more avant-garde you want to be with your headpiece you might need some more stability and to do that you can get some of these metal combs you can cut these in half with like your wire clippers and then attach it underneath the um, headband in like two different spots so you have more security there you can also get yourself some elastic um, ribbon and what you would do is figure out how taunt you want it to be on here but this will also then get stability at the base of the neck as well or the nape of the neck when it comes to putting this on the because we're using the wood flowers I don't have a to my standards I don't have a ton of greenery <laughs> so I think we'll be okay just as is but we'll find out later on. The worst case is some of these things can be added on at a later time. You don't need to add them in beforehand if you don't want to, but if you're anticipating like wanting to put a teacup on the top of your head, you might want some of that extra stability on there so that it holds properly. Also, this is not necessary, but does come in handy. Now, I've seen a lot of people use the styrofoam like heads. I only have a skull thanks to my love of Halloween. So this is gonna be our base to kinda, of, so we can have it on a structured form while we're building it. So Scully is gonna be our uh, studio helper today for the headband floral piece. I'm also going to, and this is optional, but I'm gonna be using some floral foam to give myself some height. There's other ways that you can do this to create height, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Uh, the flowers of choice, let's see here. Let me break them down for ya. We've got a, we got a couple different things. Some are dyed, some are, yeah, all of them are dyed. I take it back. All of them are dyed from various different projects. So here's our color story. I'm going very like springtime loveliness. We have, uh, I believe that's Dazzle. And then we've got Celeste turned into some daffodils. We've got some hydrangea blooms that have been um, taken off of their stem and then put back on. Oh, don't, that might be a Charleston. I should check these things before I actually turn on the camera, but you know. Then we've got daisies. I've got some that are just in yellow centers, and then we've got some pink and green ones. Whatever colors, whatever colors you need. And then for the greenery, like I said, not a lot for me. I'm not gonna be using all of this, but we are gonna be using a fair amount of it. Uh, this is a fun spring bloom piece that we have in the shop. It just gives a lot of like fun, t like I'm thinking like we're gonna go up and above on my head for this one. Like, oh, it's gonna be fun. And then we've got a softer eucalyptus. We've got our seeded eucalyptus. This is gonna be mostly for the base to really cover that floral foam. 
And then I've got like a white bloom, a white heather. Um, all of these can be found over at Oh You're Lovely if they are still available. So yes, we're gonna go over the top kind of a fun, funky springtime piece. And then we'll talk about the other projects after this one's done. So let's jump into it, shall we? Forgot about these fun sticks that I found at one point at like, I think these were at Walmart. That's a for a later date. That would be a really fun Halloween type piece. Oh, okay. Fun stuff. Get all this stuff out of the way. Goodness gracious. All right, glue gun is on. I did turn it to a high temp. You could possibly get away with using a low temp, but I'm not gonna risk it um, for this. And then all my flowers are on wires because I'm using floral foam. If you're not gonna be using floral foam, you might not need the wires on the flowers. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to add a little bit of floral foam onto the headband. So we have a little bit more structure available. I think what I wanna do is this like circle aid. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, and then those pieces. No, I don't think we'll need that. Just debating though if I want. I do want something flanking both sides. Okay. Here goes nothing. I did get headbands that have fabric on them so that there's a little bit more to grip to. Um, I didn't want to go with a metal headband or an all plastic one. They might work. I just felt like the fabric would be a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> Our crown is coming together already. And while we're doing that, we're gonna kind of start prepping some of the greenery. And I think we're gonna keep I don't think I'm gonna individually stem these up. I think I'm just gonna slide things up and then use them in groups. You could also add moss. I was thinking about that. The only concern I have with the moss is possibly um, like it getting in your hair. Okay, that's, that's doing good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So some of this we might need to individually stem up. We'll just have to see. We'll play it by ear. I'm gonna try though to use as much of it as I can as is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look where there's like connection points and I'm gonna cut down pieces of this greenery. We don't need really long stems for this, so this works really well. I'm gonna cut these down, but I'm gonna wait to put the rest of these in until we get a little bit further into the project because these seem to be a really good, like, find a little hole in the project and be able to add it into there. Okay. So then we've gotta make the decisions on this bad boy.
This is going to be a very whimsical piece. Like this would be perfect for like a tea party or something. That would be like, my ultimate, like that would be so much fun if I could get away with having like a tea party. I am going to turn it around in a second. So the same thing with this particular filler, we're going to cut it down into little sp different spots to um, not have to wire up all of the individual pieces. You could though, you absolutely could, and it will stretch your um, greenery a little bit further if you go that route. We're gonna, I think we're gonna start adding in the flowers and then we're gonna glue some uh, leaves onto the back of this. But just to kind of give you an idea, kind of, that's my largest flower. So that's gonna be kind of the main focal point and then we're gonna just snuggle, nuzzle, nuzzle, all the other colors. We've got a lot of daisies in particular in there. Um, Make sure we also get one of our, at least one of the daffodils in there to continue with that. Oh, I like that right there. Continue with the spring feeling we wanna achieve with this floral crown. I don't know what spring, uh, screams spring more than uh, daffodils besides tulips. I might be making some of these wires a little bit longer, whoops. But what we're gonna do is go to the back and then clip them off afterwards. Since I only have three of these blues, we'll make a triangle of them. still have some decisions to make. We still have this filler where we can add a little bit more of that in, which I think I want to do. And then if we wanna add some more of the spring filler, if we really wanna fill that out on that side, and I kinda of feel like I do. So I'm gonna get that in and then we're gonna glue the leaves onto the back. Scully. You're supposed to be my stability here. Come on now. Okay, good job. Okay, so I wanted to re-add, not re-add, add in, whoops, a little bit more. Scully down, scully down. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it a full piece and not break it down into smaller pieces. I liked how it all sat together. Now the back is messy right now. You see, so we're gonna clip all those wires down. And then yeah, Vikram, oh, excuse me, Betty, the new glue gun is warmed up. Okay. So let's grab some other leaves and we're just gonna glue those onto the back of this. So what I'm gonna use is ficus leaves. Um, this is one of our most affordable greenery options we have. And I am just gonna, I was gonna he-man it, but we won't he-man it. We're just gonna clip off the leaves. And my thought process I'm just going to glue them onto the back of that to clean this up a little bit. 
I was like, I want to try to get some of these leaves over the top of this floral foam as well. And it's just a matter of getting a little finicky with it. Or keeping them on the stem. I had to futz around with it, but that's where we're at so far. We're just cleaning it up. This doesn't need to be super, super pretty because it just means people are looking at you from the back of your head. I don't know about you, but I never do the back of my hair because I don't care because I don't have to see it. But if you want to tidy it up, this would be the time to do that. And so I'm getting some smaller leaves as well. And just gluing them into place on the floral foam. Kind of cover some of that. A little bit more willy-nilly. Is it big? Yes. Am I okay with that? Absolutely. But if you're not okay with like a super over the top, beautiful floral crown, use a lot less floral foam. <laughs> Cause this, this really gave us some height. But I mean, it's magical in its own way. And if you can't go extra, extra every once in a while, what's the point? Am I right? What's the point? I just, I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna scale it down now, just a little bit. The next uh, project for our hair pieces, we're gonna do two of them. We're gonna do one slightly extra, extra, one much more probably everyday use, but another way to put flowers in our hair. So stick around, we're going to jump into that right now. I love the flow of this thing. It makes me giggle so bad. I love it so much. All right, the next project, we are going to use these little, I believe they're alligator clips, is how I always describe them. They basically have like a triangle at the bottom, got a little clippy, Rawr, rawr, rawr. That's why I call them alligator clips. These in particular I did find on Amazon that have the ribbon already attached to them. This is just a little extra something for the greenery and the flowers to hold onto instead of going straight onto the metal. So you can get them already pre with the little ribbons or you can add those ribbons really easily as well if you're interested in doing that. This is what we're gonna use. Should probably tell you what the measurement is that, of that is. I'll find that and I'll let you know. We're gonna bring you guys down. So. I will let you know that measurement in two seconds. This is right around two and a quarter inches long. The other supplies that we're gonna have for this, I do have some bunny tails that I thought might be kind of fun to come out onto the hair. Um, this is the Smilax. We won't be, I just pulled off like two leaves off of the whole thing and we're gonna cut this down. And then the, for the flowers, I'm still debating if we're gonna go with a larger daisy or a smaller daisy. I think we're gonna go with the larger one, but I won't know until after we get the greenery down and how I feel about it. So first things first, we're gonna start with, and we gotta remember to, to open it, we've gotta be able to like get our fingers over to pinch it. So I think, I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna glue it that way. And this, please be careful with your fingers. I'm gonna just use a big old stick. I'm just gonna lay it right on top of that. I'm kind of hoping I can buddy that guy up next to it, maybe. So apparently I like to live on the edge when it comes to if I'm gonna burn my fingers or not. Okay, so then we've got this one. Oh, we can do double. Oh, and that one's already stuck onto there. Easy enough.
All right, I'm gonna pull away our little, little extra spider webby things from the glue. Let me go pop this in my hair real quick and I'll show you how it looks. There we have it. I think I like these better in the back, pulled into the back of the hair than on the side, but it really just depends on the hairstyle that you like. It worked out pretty good. Okay, so the last one, we're gonna do an extra big guy of an alligator clip. Now these I got fully metal without the ribbon, but we're gonna add something to them to make it work out a little bit better. And while we're at it, let's measure this. Cause I don't know how long it is. I think it's right around three inches. Yep, three inches. So a little bit better of a length. So what we did to create a little bit more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little more uh, space, area, acreage, <laughs> if you will, to fill up and we can add a larger flower if we wanted to, as I just glued on a little piece of cardboard onto there. Simple Simon for the flowers. I have a lovely over the top dolly. I love them so much. I have a, uh, it's, Possibly Thelma Rose uh, in a light purple. Then we have some hydrangeas individually, kind of looking like pansies. Um, I've got the New England boxwood. I also have this, I believe this might no longer be available, but this purple uh, greenery that will pull with all of the other purples. And yeah, I think that's all we're gonna use for this. I mean. That's still a lot. So we're gonna add it all on to this guy instead and make an extra, extra big alligator clip. I think this time around, when I put these in, I don't like the, the this part like showing on the side of my head. So I want this, when it slides in, we're gonna slide it from the back of our head going forward. So this is gonna be, we've gotta be kind of mindful of what's coming out to the sides on that. Unless I just go, no, we're gonna just put it straight to the back again. You gotta remember though, you gotta be able to wiggle the alligator clip. Might have to glue a flower on top of a flower if we go this route. Otherwise, what we could do a la, yes, maybe we'll do that. Instead, like how we do um, corsages. And I'm thinking I want the flowers kind of going in a downward. Is that, we'll see, we'll see. Got some decision making to, to do in a minute, but first let's get our greenery on there like always. And I I think we're going to just, we'll be using individual pieces. So I'm just gonna cut off one stem for right now and we'll do one stem of this stiff. That I might need to add in at the end. We'll see. And these come in like little groups, but you can easily pull those apart too. Right now to fill in the space, I'm gonna leave them in their groups. But we might want to um, take some of them individually later to kind of fill in gaps. And this we're gonna wanna cut down so that it sits a little bit flush. You can cut down any of the tails that are on the wood flowers, but you need to be aware, um, aware of where the tie is that holds everything together. Cause if you cut that, your flower is just gonna kind of fall apart shortly after. And 
Now we want the filler bits, which these I'm just gonna add glue to the base. And slide it on in. be done you guys let me go try it in my hair okay so this one can go either up or down I'll up like you know what I mean so here's one way and there's the second way I think I kind of like the flower the filler bits going in the downward motion did I just put something on me oh glue okay <laughs> all right so there you have it you guys not one, not two, but three different hair pieces that you could create in just a couple of, actually a couple of minutes. I feel like 15, 20 minutes. You can make yourself a lovely little hair piece. Freaking adorable. I love them so much. I really, really do. They're just so cute. I don't know, I feel like if you put it on the side like this, you have to kind of angle it. Just, I'm not loving that as much in my own hair. But for others, I'm sure it looks absolutely stunning. Again, I know I can be a little bit extra extra, but you can always tone it back. I just want you to see the, the possibilities of uh, how extra extra you can be. That's, that's the goal, apparently, today. But I really do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite project. Would you wear a over-the-top floral crown? I would. I'm going to in my garden this summer. That's, that's how I'll like pick all the vegetables. I'll wear my flower crown and feel like a mother earth goddess. <laughs> that's what, is what is going on with that. Uh, I really enjoyed making these. These are a ton of fun. If I could make hair pieces all day, every day, I would be a very happy camper, let me tell you. So, if you're loving this channel, can't get enough, wanna know the next time we post a video, which is typically on Wednesdays, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 plus style wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to ohyourlovely.com. But before you go over there, let me give you something. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, I will see you next week for a very special tutorial. I'm so excited to show you guys that. I really hope you enjoy it. It's very, um, it's very sentimental for me. So I'm very excited for that. So I hope to see you next week. And if not, hopefully I'll see you at a later date. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely and you my friends are absolutely lovely. Bye guys. <laughs>